Now let's look at hepatitis B virus. It reproduces in the liver, causing inflammation and even possibly cirrhosis, liver failure, and then liver cancer. When first infected, a person can develop an acute infection, which can range in severity from a very mild illness with few or no symptoms to a serious condition requiring hospitalization. Acute hepatitis B, which means sudden onset and short term, refers to the first six months after someone is exposed to the hepatitis B virus. Now, some people are able to fight the infection and clear the virus. 90% or more of adults and older children who contract hepatitis B are likely to clear the virus from their systems within a few months and develop a full immunity. About 10% become what we call chronic or long-term, and the virus stays in the blood, infecting liver cells, damaging them over time, and causing illness such as cirrhosis, liver failure, or liver cancer. Infants and young children are most at risk from chronic infections, complications, and death. Further, in most children, the virus is a silent killer. It destroys the liver or introduces liver cancer, liver failure, or cirrhosis, often over a period of 20 years or more. It's estimated that up to 1.2 million people in the U.S. have chronic hepatitis B virus infection, and about 38,000 people per year become infected with HBV. Each year, about 3,000 people die as a result of liver disease caused by HBV. Infections have significantly decreased since 1990 because of routine hepatitis B virus vaccination. Symptoms are unreliable and may or may not be present. Only a blood test can determine the infection. But if you do see symptoms, they could include yellow skin, otherwise known as jaundice, yellowing eyes, tiredness, loss of appetite, nausea, dark urine, joint pain, abdominal discomfort, and fever. Hepatitis B is unique in that it's a hundred times easier to catch than HIV. This is because the virus is very small compared to HIV. Also, hepatitis B virus can live outside of body for at least seven days and even much longer in the right conditions. Hepatitis B virus is primarily spread by sexual contact with an infected person sharing needles and or syringes. It can also be spread from an infected mother to her baby during birth or from contact with blood and body fluids through breaks in the skin, such as bites, cuts, or sores. People who are chronically infected can spread hepatitis B virus to others, even if they don't look or feel sick. However, like HIV, it's not spread by casual contact like handshakes, hugging, doorknobs, or using the same equipment, toilets, water fountains, etc. Unlike HIV or hepatitis C, there is a vaccine for hepatitis B. It's usually given in three doses over a six-month period. Hepatitis B vaccine is made from non-infectious material and cannot cause HBV infection. It's a safe vaccine where severe problems or allergic reactions are still rare. HBV vaccine is 80 to 95% effective in providing protection from hepatitis B when the complete series of three doses of vaccine are administered. It's wise to have an immunity confirmed through antibody testing between one and two months after the vaccine. Booster doses of hepatitis B vaccine are not recommended at this time. The HBV vaccine must be offered free to employees who face occupational exposure to bloodborne pathogens. Employees who do not want the vaccine must complete a vaccine declination form. Occupationally exposed employees include those who administer first aid, provide medical aid to students, assist in bathroom care, work in medical or dental offices, perform custodial duties involving the cleaning and decontaminating of surfaces that may be contaminated with blood or other potentially infectious materials, handle regulated medical waste, or in general, any people with jobs that expose them to human blood or other body fluids must be offered the hepatitis B vaccine free of charge.